All Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, we humbly present the drama play of the lifting of Govardhan Hill. Please excuse any mistakes. Thank you. Hare Krishna. One day, Nanda Maharaj and the other senior men of Vrindavan made preparations to worship the demigod Indra. They collected many articles and made elaborate arrangements for a joyous festival. Noticing all these activities, Sri Krishna, the abode of all sweetness, approached his father and addressed him as follows. I see that you are preparing for a big ceremony. Can you please tell me the purpose of it? I know I'm just a young boy, and you may think that I'm unqualified to understand these things. But I am your son, and should not keep any secrets from your family members. My dear father, my dear father, what is the purpose of the sacrifice? Please explain it to me. Is it a big junction or a popular ceremony? My dear boy, this function is traditional. We have to worship Indra. I'm sending rain. Rain, rain is falling on the we earth. We cannot live without the rain from farming and producing grain. Father, it is the force of karma which causes the birth, maintenance, and then destruction of all living entities. It is a person's actions which causes his destiny. It's not the demigods. My dear father, my dear father, let us not worship Indra. We have our duties to perform. Rain is falling from the clouds above, and not by worshipping Him. Rain is falling on the ocean and on the land as well. Besides, we have a relationship with the Brahmin man and Golden on We are satisfied living in this forest of Indava. for this jagya to satisfy our Govardhan and never mind Lord Indra. All right, dear boy, because you are asking, I shall prepare a separate sacrifice for Govardhan Hill and the Brahmanas. But for now, let me prepare this sacrifice for Lord Indra. Father, this sacrifice to Lord Indra, it means absolutely nothing to us. Neither in the past or in the present was there any certainty of us having a good grains harvest. So now we should take all this paraphernalia and we should use it in the service of Sri Giriraj Govardhan. Let's forget about our Jagya to Lord Indra. <clears throat> I accept. But tell me. How should we prepare for this sacrifice? Dear friends, prepare rice, dal, halava, puri, pakora, send it to Snula, then call the Brahmanas, pray for the Brahmin men, chanting the Vedic hymns, decorate the cows, feed them well. Keeping them in front will circumambulate the hill. Go over done, puja, go over done, puja. Lots of prashadam for dogs and chandalas. Go over done, puja, go over done, puja. If you neglect this, go over done, worship. You will be killed by the snakes on the hill. All the people of Vrindavan, for your good fortune. And the four 
fortune of your cows as well. Worship covered on hill. <laughs> <laughs> the best classes in the worship of Sri Giriraj Govardhan. They arrange for the learned Brahmins to recite the Vedic mantras. And using the paraphernalia that had been intended for the Indra Puj, they presented offerings to Sri Govardhan and the Brahmins. Then, placing the cows in front of them, they began to circumambulate Govardhan Hill. <laughs> faith in the Gujarati. <laughs> Within minutes, he ate all of the preparations that had been offered to him. Sri Giriraj Govardhan had finished everything in the twinkle of an eye. <laughs> oh, Bhajbasis, just see, by worshipping Sri Giriraj Govardhan, he has appeared before us and he is showering us with his blessings. We should all now pay res our respectful pranams unto this great personality. Sri Giriraj, we are but simple cowherders. We have offer offered you all that we have. Please accept this and be satisfied. <laughs> Please accept these fresh Tulsi leaves, for we have nothing more to offer. Now I am completely satisfied. After being worshipped, after being worshipped by the Brajvasis and eating all the preparations, Sri Krishna, in the form of Sri Giriraj Govardhan, miraculously returned all the food that he had eaten exactly as it was given to him. But now it was Maha Prashad. The Brajvasis, having thus been inspired by serving Sri Giriraj, returned with Krishna to their village of Braj. Meanwhile, in the heavenly planets, Lord Indra had developed a headache due to being ignored and forgotten by the Prajvasis. Um, what news have you brought? 
Uh, speak up! I can't hear you. Um, well... What is it? My lord, the Bertabasis have cancelled your sacrifice. They have done what? <laughs> what nonsense are you speaking? My lord, my lord, it seems that the son of Nanda have, has convinced the Bertabasis to worship over on Hill instead of Venus. <laughs> This is truly amazing. The intelligence of these cowherd men is the same as the animals they tend. They gave up my worship after hearing a few words from a mere child. Goddesses of learning sing my glories. And they did not even give my sacrifice a second thought. Have they become so overwhelmed by false pride? <sighs> oh foolish residents of Vrindavan! You claim this boy, this over-talkative child, to be the greatest happiness in your life. He may fulfill all your desires, but we will soon see if he is truly your ever-well-wisher. Some magical clouds! Some magical clouds! <laughs> accomplish their mission. First, a vast bank of clouds appearing like a huge demon in the sky blocked out the sun and covered Vrindavan in total darkness. Then the rain began. The water moved so fast that they formed a continuous stream speeding through the universe like a raging river. The cows sheltered their calves under their own bodies in fear of the violent rain. The cowherd men of Vrindavan thought that the devastation of the universe had suddenly arrived. Terrified and weak, they approached Krishna, who brings happiness to everyone. Oh Krishna, you always save us and bring us happiness. But we are in great danger now. Since you are the Lord of the Bible, you must protect us. The clouds are roaring ferociously as they release torrents of rain. The floods of water increasing as the ocean of devastation. Just seeing the cows, they are using their own bodies to protect their calves from the piercing hailstones. And with their tears of eyes, they are saying, Oh Krishna, just as you once saved us from the forest fire, please save us from this terrible rainfall. This demigod, who thinks himself supreme, No. 
this demigod, who thinks himself supreme, he has shown his great power. But now, I will answer him according to my position. Indra has become maddened with false prestige, but I will crush his pride. I, I cannot bear to see my devotees in this position. And I will certainly save those devotees of mine who are completely under my protection. will fall from my hand? You yourselves have seen how he appeared before us with such a beautiful form. <coughs> Therefore, is it hard to believe that he can stay suspended in midair? Look how, light he is. Look how light he has become, that even a small child like me can hold him in midair. Now, you should all collect all your belongings and quickly come under the shelter of Sri Giriraj Govardhan. Hearing the reassuring words of Sri Krishna, the Brajvasis immediately felt pacified. Taking their families and cows, they entered beneath Sri Giriraj. Although situated in different directions, all the Brajvasis gazed to their heart's content at the beautiful lotus face of Sri Krishna. And each person saw that Krishna was looking directly at them according to their individual relationship. <laughs> Mother just showed us out of the highest Mother Jashoda, out of the highest parental affection, began to chastise Krishna. Oh my dear son, you're always acting disobediently due to your uncontrolled senses. For years we performed the sacrifice to Lord Indra. But now, because you have stopped it, we're in a great predicament. How can your soft, butter-like hand hold up this huge mountain? Hey, Giriraj, please show me some compassion. Please become light so that you do not cause any discomfort to my son, Krishna. Oh, Maya, why do you worry for nothing? Sri Giriraj is floating in mid-air by his own accord. And as I told you before, this body of mine is merely his instrument. That may be true, but you must be feeling uncomfortable standing there for so long. I will believe what you say, 